what's up friends welcome back to Drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix missing drivers on your windows 10 or windows 11 pc now in order to know if you have missing drivers you need to check your device manager so in order to open this you simply want to right click on the windows icon and then you want to click on device manager right from here your device manager will open and what normally happens is that when you have a missing driver you will see these arrows like expand and you will see like a question mark in yellow and most times it will say like unknown device right and i'm going to show you a typical example right now so i'm going to go ahead and open up my browser here and i'm going to just simply type in missing drivers device manager right and i'm going to go to images and show you so here is a bunch of examples that you can see so have a look at this picture here you see it says unknown device here's another example here unknown device so you you get the idea guys it normally shows unknown device and it gives you these little yellow icons and it shows you that you have unknown device it simply means that you have missing drivers right so now that you know what it looks like when you have unknown devices then you will know exactly what to look for once you have an unknown device right so now the next thing you want to do in order to know what kind of drivers you need you can simply go ahead and you will see what kind of driver it is but in order to find the best driver for your computer you want to know the type of computer you have, the model you have, etc. And one of the best ways to find that is simply click Windows key on your keyboard or on your mouse and you simply want to type in system and you want to open up system information, right? Now once you have system information open, then you will be able to see on the system model. System model normally gives you your computer name on the model. So this is something that you want to note and a lot more other information you can find regarding your computer hardware software you can find it here within system model so if you don't know something you can easily find out a lot about your computer here from using system information so here you can see that i have a asus stuff dash f15 fx15 516 pm right so now that we know that we can go to like the manufacturer website and find the drivers that are missing now i want to also mention that normally computer these days running windows 10 windows 11 whenever you get a microsoft windows update your computer normally will come with the driver so you will normally find microsoft updating your computer with necessary drivers that will have your computer work but there are times that you will have drivers installed but it doesn't work as good as it should or it doesn't work as properly as it should so the best thing is to get those drivers that are dedicated for your computer hardware from the manufacturer website now we know my computer so all we have to do is just simply go over to the google or wherever whichever browser you're using and you simply want to type in the model number or the model of your computer and just type drivers most cases you'll find that google recommend the manufacturer website to you and you can simply head over to there and you can just find a driver so i'm going to select from the result here from google is azos website here and this will take me here to the manufacturer website and as you can see it gives me a bunch of options so i know that i have the fx516 model and i'm going to simply tap ok based on which model computer you have type etc you will just do the same type in the model of your computer computer name model and type drivers and i'm sure you will find google result that take you directly to the manufacturer website that you can find those drivers now as you can see here as my example shows i find my computer here and as well i can just simple tap on drivers and utilities and as well you can have all those drivers here you need to choose as well what computer you have if you have 32 bit 64 bit you will see those drivers you can also find bios as well so you can find quite a lot so if you all you have to do just simple come here and just find those recommended drivers for your computer most times you'll find the latest model as well and all you have to do is just simple download those drivers so if you have like a pointing device driver if you have a bluetooth driver whatever you will find that is not installed correctly you can come here and you can download those drivers and install on your computer i want to also mention that normally you'll find from those manufacturer website group drivers so you'll find that multiple hardware that you will find from within your computer requires like a bunch of different drivers and if you will come from the manufacturer website you will notice that once you install that driver it comes with a bunch of different 
different drivers that you will see and you will see from those various description that you will see there so you will find that you have your LAN driver your bluetooth driver and all these things that you can install so guys that's in a nutshell that's about it so you just want to find your manufacturer website download the recommended driver that is related to what is missing and all you have to do is just simply install those drivers and you can easily go back and check it so it will also require that you restart your computer for those drivers to become effective so just all you have to do install the drivers restart your computer and in most cases that will fix the issue for you so guys that's in a nutshell that's about it let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you're seeing the channel for the first time i really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and see you next time for another tutorial just like this one